Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal, and I've got a pretty cool thing to show you today. Um, so let's just get right into it. Uh, so a while ago, uh, this was up for pre-order. They still have them available, uh, but they are shipping now. So if you're interested in getting this, it's still available. I will link it. Uh, but I got a box set in the mail um, a couple days ago, and I was pretty excited about it. Uh, so we'll talk about, in general, uh, why I was excited, uh, and then what kind of also made me a little bit disappointed about the box set. Uh, so this is the Metal and Beer Fest uh, Decibel release that they just put out um, for an immolation uh, three-tape box set. So uh, they conspired with Nuclear Blast to release uh, and press the their latest three albums um out on tape so apparently these have been pretty hard to find on tape and, and I've, I've looked and, and yeah they're pretty hard to find on tape um and the box that came in two different colors a, a beer beer colored shell and then like a smoky gray shell so i'm sure you probably have seen this floating around anywhere but anyway i finally got it in the mail uh and i wanted to show it off so to start off um i'll just get right into it i was a little bit disappointed um in what I received in terms of of this being a a box set quite literally it is a, a box set and what I mean by that is that it is literally just a box <laughs> with the three tapes that came in it nothing else no stickers no patches uh, the box is just cardboard it, that's pretty much all it is um is this in the three tapes so this was forty dollars um and i guess i've bought a lot of tape box sets this year as you've seen on the channel um and 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 i wasn't expecting like anything like the 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 immortal one that i've shown off on here um the dissection one which i don't think i showed that on here uh like nothing like that i wasn't expecting anything crazy like that like a flag back patch stuff like that but in general i just kind of thought that maybe the box would be a little bit better quality maybe i don't know i'm just being really picky right now but in general this is what the box looks like um and then the top it names the three albums um and then the bottom nuclear blast uh, metal and beer fest so anyway if you're not familiar with immolation they are a death metal band um started back up in the 90s uh they're from new york i think they're probably one of the best death metal bands to ever come out to be honest with you um, and they have probably some of the best albums you, I've ever heard. So, uh, I admittedly do not have any emulation in my collection until now. And so, like I said, these are the, the last, uh, their latest three releases that have come out on Nuclear Blast. Um, they have a total of, jeez, I don't even remember how many albums they have, like 10? Is it 10 albums now? Let's see. Let's look it up and see. I think it's 10. Um, do, 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 do. Yep, 10. So there's 10 total albums out. Their first one was back in 91, Dawn of Possession, which I think is probably one of the more iconic uh, death metal albums that you should have in your collection. I unfortunately don't have it. Uh, so that is what I'm on the hunt for, uh, whether it be vinyl or CD um, or tape. Although the tapes, the cheapest tape I've seen is like $70, which is insane to me. I probably won't ever spend that on a tape unless it's like signed or something like that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, these are the last three albums, so we'll start sh off showing them. So first up is uh, Majesty and Decay. Uh, so there you go right there. Um, I got the beer colored one, so it comes on like this fluorescent, like yellowish, beerish color. Uh, so the tapes are in general nice quality. They sound great. I listened to this one particularly yesterday. Um, and these three albums I think are fantastic. I, I really love these albums. These were, oddly enough, the first ones that I had ever really heard from Immolation um, that I really actually, like, got into. Obviously, Dawn of Possession is, like, the one that I know that I'm the most familiar with. Uh, and then Here and After is the other one, which is their second full length. Uh, but then these ones, um, obviously, are the most recent ones. So probably the ones I've listened to most within the last couple of years. Um, so anyway, this came out in 2010 uh, and Nuclear Blast, as you can see. It is a really nice J card on the back and then it has lyrics on the other side. Um, so yeah, in terms of the tapes and the quality, whoops, excuse me. In terms of the tapes and the quality, they're really nice tapes. Uh, it's 
cool to have them in my collection now. Um, and I also am going to pick up uh, Corpse Crystal just also released another box set of the second, third, and fourth full lengths uh, on tape. Uh, and that comes with a really cool hand numbered box with really cool artwork on it. So in terms of quality of box, that one looks like to be a little bit nicer than this one. Um, so there's uh, Majesty and Decay. Uh, I think this is a great album. Just, you know, a band that in my my honest opinion has been consistent across the board for all their albums i would think maybe unholy cult is probably the only album that i really haven't fully grasped uh maybe i just need to listen to but you know 10 10 studio albums it, it, it's a lot to take on if you've never listened to a band so but still great albums uh in general so this is uh this is the next album which is um atonement jesus i'm having a hard time talking today so again all the tapes are the same color they all look the same uh, and then Atonement. So this is, I love that album artwork. Um, and I actually really love the band's logo too. It's just, the logo is probably one of my favorite death metal band logos. Um, and then this J card is really cool. It has some nice artwork on there. Some fantastic artwork. The other side is awesome. So this is, this is a really cool, um, I just love the artwork. So the artwork is, is by a man that I, I cannot pronounce his name so I'm not even gonna try it um, but if you can come on camera if you want to zoom no you're not gonna there we go it says it right there if you're interested so again another great album and again I just I love the artwork on this one especially that one right there so I am gonna actually be doing a new series on this channel um, I guess I'll announce it. Uh, I'm going to do a death metal art series where I pretty much take an artist and I talk about what they mean to the death metal scene, what they've done, what kind of work they've done, what bands they've worked with, some of their more, more iconic things, uh, and really talk about that because in terms of death metal, and one of the things I absolutely love about death metal is the artwork that goes into it, the imagery that it creates, and just the, the general culture that there is within within the art space of, of metal and in metal music in general. Uh, so I, I feel like I really, and it's one of those things that I absolutely love. Um, it's something that I, I've just been really, I would say passionate about, uh, over the years. So, um, and definitely this artist will definitely have, uh, uh, a say in one of those episodes. So I'm, I'm currently filming that. I, it's, a, it's a, I'm researching it and getting a lot more information on it. So that'll be hopefully be coming out within the next couple of weeks. I'm taking a little bit more time on it. Uh, and actually editing and stuff like that because I want it to be a good series, an interesting one. So anyway, this is Atonement. This is a great, another great album. So this is the second one that comes in the box. And then finally, the third one is uh, Kingdom of Conspiracy, which I feel like that album artwork is, is probably very well known. But also the thing that bothers me about this one is that, as you notice, the, the logo is not there. So each, uh, each album art the logo was either there or not there. So I wish they kind of would have kept the logo, but whatever. It works, I guess, for this for this album artwork. So again, uh, tape's the same. And then this J card is similar to the first one that I showed off where it just has liner notes and then lyrics on the other side. So that is the three box set that you can get through Decibel. Um, like I said, there's still some available. They've been they've been counting down basically how much they have left. It seems like they only have a, a small quantity left. So if you're interested, they have two different colors, like the beer color and there's like a smoky gray one. But in general, I am excited that I finally have uh, some immolation in my collection. Uh, it is cool. Uh, you know, I mean, 40 bucks, not too bad. About $11, $11 or so. Uh, a little bit more than eleven dollars for for the tapes, which I guess if I tried to find them uh, on Discogs or anything else, it would have been a lot more. So I can't complain too much. But uh, aside from the box uh, that I was a little disappointed about, there's one more thing that I should probably warn you about, and I don't know if this is just my 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 specific uh, box or not. But when you put all three of the tapes in the box. They are fit very snug <laughs> and they do not come out at all. It is pretty impossible to get them out. You have to really shake it and force them out of there. Uh, so uh, in terms of, of that, that, that's kind of 
annoying because when I first opened it, they were sealed. Each tape was sealed, so that shrink wrap uh, probably created a little bit more of a wedge in there. And then I figured, oh, well, I'll take the shrink wrap off. It'll be a nicer fit. Now it, it's still pretty snug, and, and if I wanna if I wanna leave these in the box and keep the box set intact. Uh, and then store it and then take it out to listen it, it's pain so what I'm pretty much going to do is take these tapes out and then uh, unfold this box and flatten it down and put it somewhere so it doesn't get destroyed um, just to keep it as one uh, I don't plan on selling this at all and although when I got it and saw what it was it's kind of like uh, that's disappointing <laughs> um, but in general, I bought it for the music, uh, not so much for the, the aesthetics or, or the actual thing in the box. I, just, I wanted to have these on tape, so I, I gotta stop complaining. So this is pretty much what it is, what it looks like. Uh, and if you're a huge Immolation fan, definitely snag this, because uh, again, these are hard to find on tape, um, and I wasn't collecting tapes when they first came out, so good stuff. So that's all that I had today, quick little video. Um, I'm gonna hopefully have a couple more videos up this week. I'm just trying to find some time to record things. Uh, I did not get the Black Metal Monday up like I hoped. <sighs> work is just, it's the holidays. So and with, with my work, things tend to pick up a little bit more crazy right now for some reason. So anyway, um, I'm not in retail either, which is just even more annoying that my work gets crazy around the holidays. <laughs> um, so, yep, that's all that I had today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Um, so yeah, check this out. I'll link it where you can find it. Um, Immolation is a, a great death metal band. If you have not listened to them, which I feel like if you're watching this video, you you know who they are and you've listened to them. Uh, check these albums out. I think they're great. Um, like I said, my first, my first my favorite albums by Immolation are their first two, Dawn of, Dawn of Possession, Here and After. Uh, so if you're looking for any more tapes, uh, like I said, Corpse Crystal also has these available and I am ordering one. So when I, when I get that in, I will also do a video for that and then we'll do a little bit of a comparison there. So thank you guys so much uh, and have a great day.